Guys, we were talking, and Frank, you know, we talk all about the Mets and their pitching staff and staying healthy. That's a big storyline. I think their lineup's a lot better than I thought. I think it's time to talk about them. I mean, Mickey Callaway coming in with that little friend, Kona Zinn. They're, they're, they're having a, a different clubhouse. You just tell the chemistry's totally different. Mm -hmm. But what they did in the offseason, they, they fixed a couple problems. You know, Todd Frazier at third, uh, Adrian Gonzalez at first. And you got Cespedes, as you already your Uranian superstar, but you got a great mix of veteran players with young players. Conforto, this kid Rosario. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really like the Mets' offense. Everybody's talking about the pitching. Watch out for this offense. This, guy, this game continues to stay together and stay healthy. They should be in it at the end with the Washington Nationals. Well, let, let's think about it, guys. We hear this every year. We hear the Mets are going to be contenders each and every year. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like seeing these flamethrowers go out every other day mm -hmm. and, 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 and strike out the entire world. But, hey, health is key, man. Yes. These guys have to stay on the field. Also, on the other side, you're getting contributions from guys that you thought you might not be getting. Mm -hmm. Adrian Gonzalez is having a heck of a start. He is. Right? The Todd father's doing his thing over at third mm -hmm. base. If they want to stay in the hunt to compete with the Washington Nationals, they have to continue to get help from those guys all season. Well, listen, to your point, and look, the Mets finished, what, 27 games back last year, but it was a disaster. And injury-wise, it took away their best players. Right. I mean, you take a look at what they lost last year to injury. I mean, check this out. Look at their pitching staff. With Syndergaard, Mats, and Harvey decimated. And when Harvey was healthy, he wasn't any good because he had that, that big-time shoulder surgery, thoracic outlet. And then familiar, their clothes are gone for almost 100 games. They lost Cespedes for half the year. How do you compete when you lose your five best players? You don't. Bottom line is you wait to get healthy, and they're healthy right now, and they've, they've come out of the box swinging, throwing, playing Met baseball. Watch out for this team if they can stay They healthy. look good. They yes. look good. It's one game in D.C., but you got to like what you're seeing if you're the Mets. Uh, be a little worried <laughs> if you're the Nationals who've won the division the last two years. Uh, Frank, very astute in noticing things in-game, picked down an unbelievable <laughs> thing. They were playing a soundbite of Manny Machado, okay? <laughs> and Frank noticed yes. that Manny reminded him of someone. As we as we take a look, I think we have the photos. Where is it? Manny and Cam yeah, Calloway. Cam Calloway, hey. <laughs> I mean, howdy, a young, howdy, howdy, a young Cal Calloway. I love it. You know, this guy's got up for a big contract. You can do what you want when you, when you got that type of talent. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that Brinks truck's going to look like at the end of the year, but it's going to be real What nice. happened? What happened to man, the hair Frank jealous. <laughs> Frank jealous he ain't got that hair, bro. He... I'm bald, man. I, you know, I used to have a little glue like that early in the 90s. You know what I mean? So, so hold on. D-Train is watching the show tonight, <laughs> as he always is. Train, I, I hear Train is tweeting right now. If we could watch... Well, here, here he goes. Uh, we're brown. They're already roasting. That's right, Dutchell. <laughs> That's right. We are. We've been roasting. We love you for watching. We miss you, D. Just, just remember, Swisher cannot stand up. Not, not, I haven't even moved. I've already Watch split. Dontrell, there's a lesson here. Do not buy suits for 12-year-olds. We showed you earlier that Dontrell Willis, one of our guys watching the show, tweeting earlier. And now he responds. We talked about it. So he says, hey, whip around made me feel all warm and fuzzy. And I'm watching the final pitch just to see Swish's pants for show. <laughs> not bad. Well, not bad, um, right? Dontrell, if... this is for you. <laughs> oh, no, man. What's happening? I think I'm just going to stand up all show, bro. My pants are too tight. Sit down. MLB whip around. We've got oh! Super Swish. Now, you know. Now, Frank, Super Swish looks good, but here's the thing. He can't sit down because his pants are about to split. <laughs> They're so tight. He, he's, he's got a body suit he's on. He's wearing a size three boys. <laughs> body suit. <laughs> <laughs> It's unbelievable. Super Man, y'all got me good. Super you got swish. me good. You got me good on that one. You got me on that one. I don't even know what to say. We I don't even have anything man. else to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't move too much, man. I saw you working it, though, Swish. I saw hey, you working it. Swish, well, can you pick up my pants no, off the ground? No, I can't. It's a, it's a <laughs> picture suit. It's a picture suit, man. <laughs> God, God so love you. You are a job. You're going to love it. Thanks Boy, for we'll see you tomorrow. Be tomorrow night, we'll see you soon. 11 Eastern, <laughs> MLB Whip <laughs> <laughs> It's unbelievable, man. <laughs>